Hey bros, if you're checking to see if you got a shout out, then watch the video almost all the way to the end because that's where the shout outs are. What's up guys? Orange Modworks sent us this OTAC Hammershot S1 for free and we're going to be using it to modify this hammer shot, as you can see. All right guys, so now we will be unboxing over the hammer shot. The OTEC gear hammer shot S1 came with a cylinder, a hammer shot trigger, a hammer shot hammer. A hammer shot a cylinder axle, hammer shot foam, an OMW solid spring tube, and last but not least, two stickers. All right guys, so before we make this gun extra epic, we're going to um, chrono it. Meaning we're going to shoot it the darts through this thing to make it see its speed. And the diameter is 12.7 millimeters and it's one gram in weight. So time to do this. Right, three, two, one. So the FPS for this one is 41.6. That one is 50.1. 53. Two hundred and eighty-five point two. Forty-eight point one. Forty-one. Hey guys, it's Robert. The first thing I had to do is remove the screws. Then I took out all the parts. We had video of the gun being sanded and painted, but the memory card became corrupted, so we'll start from here. First, um, we sanded and painted the gun with a primer coat of matte black. Then we added some painter's tape and added some green. And this is the paint we used. Next, these screws on the blaster were painted silver with this paint pen. Here's what it's like painting the blaster with the paint pen, and it's almost like coloring with a marker, but it is paint. Here's how the gun is right now. We've added some silver around the edges to make it look like it's been used for a while. Now it is time to put the internal parts back in and replace some of them with the upgraded parts. First I had to detach the hammer from the plunger and the spring guide, so I used a rubber mallet and a screwdriver to act as a punch to punch out the metal pins to separate the hammer from the other pieces. Here you can see me completely pulling the pins out, um, removing the old hammer, putting the new one in, and putting the pins back. And here's what it looks like with the new hammer on. Now I had to take off the original piece of foam on the front and put the new one on. If you're doing this mod also, then you'll know that on the inside of the circle, one of the sides is flat, so make sure the flat part is on the top. Here's what it looks like with the new one on. The spring has a spike sticking up and you stick that inside of the little hole on the trigger. Then the orange piece of plastic has another piece sticking up and you stick that through the big hole on the spring and the big hole on the trigger. When putting the trigger on, make sure the bottom part of the trigger is pointing left so one of the ends on the spring can catch on to a piece of plastic and then you turn the trigger back down to normal. Now I insert the plunger in the plunger tube and take the metal rod sticking up from the piece of plastic and put it through the hole on the hammer. Now I screw this piece of plastic back on. Here's the old spring next to the new one and you can tell that the new one is stiffer so I just take the new spring and put it around the spring guide. Now this spring is going to be a little bit harder to put in because it's stronger, but you still should be able to do it. 
Now we put this whole piece back into the blaster. Now I attach this little axle to the cylinder and I put the cylinder back in the blaster. Now I'm going to slide in this little piece for the rail. I'm going to put in the sling mount and the front sight. Now I attach the other half of the shell and put in all the screws. Now we use this suede strip to give the blaster a new grip. Now I attached a little bit of hot glue on the end and glued it to the gun. Then I wrapped it around the handle and finished it off with a little bit more hot glue. Here is what the blaster looks completely finished. Hopefully you can see that we have the upgraded parts in there, the new grip, and the little pieces of silver in areas that would get worn to act as if it's been through many nerf battles. Alright guys, so time to chrono the epic extra, or the extra epic version of the other gun, except this one's modded, so it's like, yeah. 45, 45.5, 64.4, 66.4, 63.7, 64.6. All right, so now we're gonna take the two blasters and have a range test. All right, guys, so we're gonna be testing the range of this modded blaster and this non-modded blaster. And we can tell the difference by the darts and the range because this one has zombie darts and this one has end strike darts. So like, let's do this. All right, so we're gonna be aiming at Mr. Jackson all the way over there and he's approximately 45 feet away. So let's do this. First, we're going to be doing the standard hammer shot. Let's go. Three, two, one. Now, the extra epic modded blaster. Let's go. I'm confident that this one's gonna be good. That one already passed all the other ones, so good start. Dude, the bounce on these are crazy. They're like, okay, that one's for it. But you know what I mean. That one was good. Oh, ooh, that's the furthest one yet. All right, guys, let's go see which gun did better. Blaster. You know what I meant. From the looks of it, I think that we can come to a conclusion that the modded one did better because the furthest one was right here. You can see by the blue darts went further than the green darts, so you know that it's epic. So yeah, the furthest one went about 39 feet. Big boy amounts. So now we're gonna do an accuracy test by shooting this with both blasters from 15 feet away. Let's do this. 15 is... I'm aiming at the middle, right? I'm aiming at the rival. Well then, okay, I'll aim at right above it. That, that's... That's me aiming above it. So this, for its accuracy, I'd say it shoots about an inch or two low, but not bad. I mean, just know to aim above your target. Yeah. All right, other gun time. Here I go. This is the more overpowered one, so. I got high hopes. All right, here we go. Three. Oh, I don't really know what I'm trying to hit. 
Oh, hello. Okay, this was also, I mean, I think it was a little higher, but still an inch or so low. I think I know exactly why it's low. I, I think it's because, because when you aim through the sides, it's like actually like an, like kind of, is this like about an inch above the actual barrel. All right guys, oh it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Isaac333. The next shout out goes to Alex Jankowicz. The next shout out goes to Prince Gakas. The next shout out goes to Tak Rido. The next shout out goes to Curtis Murray. The next shout out goes to Dr. Derikito. The next shout out goes to JJ Bro Tomorrow B Boy. The next shout out goes to Caitlin Morris. The next shout out goes to Kid Slasher 0976. The next shout out goes to Vincent Topete. The next shout out goes to Jello. The next shout out goes to Sekiro Nerfer. The next shout out goes to Alex. The next shout out goes to AACW. The next shout out goes to Caleb Brenner. The next shout out goes to Nick. The next shout out goes to Lian Sangpui K. The next shout out goes to at SBG underscore Kalaki. The next shout out goes to Lily Lalsang Liani. The next shout out goes to Sparks. The next shout out goes to Kaden. The next shout out goes to Khan Vung. The next shout out goes to Ma Nation. And the last shout out goes to Big Boy Cole. All right, guys, if you like the video, then go and punch that like button and then share the video with all of your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notifications button. Yeah. Peace out.